Hi, I'm Eric Ford for Made Here. Director Timothy Morris profiles Danville, Vermont resident Galen Paul Dively III in the film Burnt Toast. Did you know you can have your own face on toast? Galen lives on a remote mountaintop in the Northeast Kingdom, and he makes his living selling novelty toast art. This quirky short documentary explores the evolution of Galen's company from the Jesus toaster to the selfie toaster. You can watch Burnt Toast and other great Made Here films streaming on vermontpublic.org and through the PBS app. Enjoy the film, and thanks for watching. Got some pictures of me playing the guitar or something this morning, maybe. <laughs> I'm trying to think of some toast. <laughs> Nicholas Cage is the most popular. Celebrity. I've probably done three dozen Nicolas Cages over the last several years, just from people asking me to do Nicolas Cage. It's got his eyes. But the cool thing is you don't need to be Jesus or famous. Anybody can be on toast. <laughs> Basically, I'm making a stencil uh, that I'm going to use. And what's happening is we're still screening a design onto your toast and the stencil I got to make. And it's like stencils, the, if there's islands in there, they fall out when you make a stencil, so I gotta go in here and make it to where those pieces don't fall out. I can't kill this. I tried. So I was depressed for two or three years, and I tried to kill it, and it wouldn't die. So here I am, making selfie toast. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> now this is just over the years experience of putting people's faces on toast. It's not rocket science, but there is some little tricks there. There, now I wanna go there, get those lines. That's, that's the happy couple on toast. Sometimes it's temperamental. Do you want me to look at the camera or look? You can look at me. At, at, okay. Like. Uh, my name is uh, Galen Paul Dively. I am a human being on planet Earth that makes toast art. Brief history of the life of Galen Paul Dively. <laughs> uh, boy, that's, that's not brief. Uh, I was born in Pennsylvania, 16th generation Pennsylvania. Oh, proud of it. My mom and dad are fifth cousins. I'm a hillbilly. I was a lot of trouble for, I grew up in the 70s, a lot of trouble for my family. Then when I was 18 or so, while I was on parole, <laughs> I, I found the Grateful Dead. <laughs> I found the hippies. And then I just traveled with the, I learned how to tie-dye, because I didn't, selling drugs just seemed way too stressful. <laughs> So I, so, I, uh, so I learned how to tie-dye, and I became a tie-dyer, and I did really well at that. And I, I, I basically just tie-dyed, and then followed the Grateful Dead around. All right, I forgot it. I've always been a, an entrepreneur since I was a kid, selling chestnuts and, and, and cutting lawns, and I've always just been an entrepreneur. Oh, and I've not an entrepreneur. I'm not an entrepreneur. I've sold my stuff. I've always just never liked jobs, I guess. So I find work and make work for myself. 
But where am I doing with this? Where am I doing with this? So this was all forest when we got it 20 years ago. And we uh, completely just took down some trees and built a house. We've been building it for 20 years. I did a Yahoo search in 1997 for Vermont land. No zoning, maple tree, spring water next to state. I basically put all these things that I really wanted. Press enter, and this is the first thing, first thing that showed up. And we came up here on a honeymoon and bought it. It's just a place I built. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Random guitars, broken TVs, oversized bean bags. It's still not finished. I'm working on it. Oh, I don't even have the door here, but yeah. 20 years. This is 20 years I've been living here. See it? I've been just building and building and building. And then everybody left, so I'm left with this huge, huge home I gotta fill up with uh, a bunch of hippies. So I have 46 acres here. I, I plan on turning it into a cannabis hemp museum and stoner retreat, camping, Airbnb. We're gonna put an 18 hole disc golf course in. Every hole's gonna be the ninth. Uh, you can come up here and camp, check out this beautiful view. I'll teach you how to tie dye, maybe make you a toaster. <laughs> It's all put on by, so if you see it and it's a little bit off when you get your toaster, because it was hand done. <laughs> Each angle is unique. I might have to remake this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to remake that. This is where I cut it. I get a, a sheet of metal, my sheet metal. I don't have any sheets right now because I had a huge order the other day, used up all my metal. I got to head over to the, my metal guy. I try to buy as much stuff locally as I can. Uh, just try to. I mean, I, I, I got plastic Chinese toasters, so, so I, I try to balance that with. This is my little workshop. It's really cool. It's kind of small, but it, it does what I need to do. Choo! Did something right. There you go. This was the inspiration for it all. This. I got a Hello Kitty toaster, two of them, in, at Target or something years ago. And I was like, dude, I want to make a toaster that puts pot leaves on it. We still hadn't received them yet. We had a little dinner party up here, and the discussion of the Jesus toaster came up. Can you tell what it is? Osama bin Laden? Eh, not exactly. You can now get your daily bread with an image of Jesus Christ toasted into it, thanks to a Danville, Vermont entrepreneur. So I come bearing bread. Thank you. <laughs> That's when it popped into his head. Wow, we get a photograph on toast. Custom selfie toasters. Let me take a selfie. Today, I'm testing the Burnt Impressions Custom Selfie Toaster. It's a toaster that claims to put your face on a piece of toast, and all you have to do is upload your photo to the website. Here's the photo that they sent. <laughs> Look at that. I love it. That took off huge. We were having, uh, I mean, at one point, yeah, I had six employees. We're bringing in half a million in sales, uh, hundreds of, I mean, it was, it was, it was pretty busy. It, it, it completely took off. And then during that time, uh, basically, I mean, from the process of that to being up here in the hill was four years, three years. I was going through a divorce and I got pretty damn depressed and I kind of like 
just let it all go. And I, I laid off a lot of folks. I let one of my friends kind of run it for a year or two. And I, I didn't know what I was going to do with it. So uh, at that point, then the graph started going down because I kind of just dropped the ball and, and, and went off and dealt with what I had to deal with. That was actually a blessing because I was able to move it, scale it to one person working it, and then eventually move it up here to my home again where it started. And now I'm sitting here by myself pretty much other than Christmas rushes, oh, making, making your selfie toasters. <laughs> I've been a great factory worker. <laughs> hey, hon. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. You're at speakerphone. I'm getting some stuff together here. What are you doing for Christmas? Uh, I got to stay here, though. Your mom's having dinner Christmas night, right? Yeah, I think so. I was going to go to that. I created it to impress my now ex-wife. <laughs> thinking that I could do something other than, I don't know, be who I am. <laughs> Let's just say that. It was, a, it, was, it was a good ride. We had a good ride, we made good kids. I mean, I, it's not like I didn't do anything up until that time, but you know, like it, it costs money to send kids to college and all that stuff, so, and uh, you know, I had this big expectation on me, which uh, I can say that my kids are going to college and it's paid for, which is, they're, they're, it's, a, uh, it's a blessing to be able to give that to my kids. Oh, but, at the time, I wasn't doing enough to, to do that, so I had to come up with something. <laughs> and this is the best thing I came up with, and it worked, so. <laughs> ah, that ain't too bad. All right. Let's see. Oops. Dang was. Right up here that uh the trailer is. That's where we meet the uh the tractor trailer to get the toasters and we got to bring them all the way back up from up here. He doesn't like he doesn't like driving up there. If he was Canadian, he probably would, but <laughs> that's a Canadian joke, truck driver joke. They would make it. It changes very little. Every year I, I see like one more light out in my, <laughs> out, out in the distance. When I look out from my house, I see maybe one more home. It hasn't changed. It really hasn't changed much at all. It, it's just stuck in time sort of place. Coming into Danville. I prefer coming into Danville because, well, there's no cops in Danville. <laughs> St. John's, right? As cops, no, they're, they're friendly. They're really nice. They know me. Even the St. John's very cops. I remember when the Jesus toaster was big, Somebody wrote me a, a letter and all it said, the address was Jesus Toaster Creator, nothing else. And it made it here. <laughs> it made it to the, <laughs> I don't know how that, the, the post office found me. 
There we go, our little post office. Great, we're gonna take these in. <laughs> cool. Thank you. <laughs> he came out. That's my day. One of my life uh, dreams is to uh, busk for enough money on a tropical island to go buy myself a cheeseburger. <laughs> so, so that's what I'm working toward. <laughs> And I'm perfectly happy selling it too. I, I think it's, I mean, it's, it's, a lot of folks, my friends are like, you know, well, you're the toaster man. It's like, you know, how you can, can you do that? Well, my, hopefully my face will still be on the box. I'm perfectly happy with selling the company and being the, the face on the box. <laughs> I've never been shy of figuring out the next moment. Because <laughs> I know it's coming. <laughs> I've never been shy of doing that. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I want to enjoy the next 40 years, I guess. I'm not saying I didn't enjoy the first 55 years. <laughs> she came and stole my toaster. She took it the other day. She came and stole my toaster. She took it away. That's okay, cause I got one coming from BurtonPressions.com today. <laughs> Vermont Public, partnering with local filmmakers to bring you stories made here. For more, visit vermontpublic.org.